Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to another project for Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I'm using the Special Delivery Collection by Doodlebug. This is what's kind of targeted as the Baby Boy Collection. So I'm just going ahead and showing you the 6x6 paper pad that I'm going to be using, as well as two of the stamp sets. I'm using the stamp with the same name, Special Delivery, and also pulling in the Doodlebug All Occasion stamp as well. So Jamie does have a lot of this collection in the shop right now, so I will leave a link to everything I'm using down in the description box below. Just showing you there, I picked out the babies from the boys because I thought it would work well with the girl collection as well. The little girl one has some pigtails. So here's all the images colored. I'm just kind of showing this to you a bit backwards here, but I wanted to show you all the images I did. I used some different colored skin tones. I used four variations. And then I also pulled in, I'm just giving you a sneak peek of the Bundle of Joy, the girl collection. I purchased the Nursery Friends stamp set as well, which is technically part of the girl collection, but works perfectly for the boy collection as well. So I colored a bunch of those up cut them out with my scan and cut. Here is a look at everything all cut out and in my tray ready to go. And we can make six cards with this collection today. But first, uh, we are gonna jump in to the coloring. So I've stamped out three of the images here. So I'm gonna do three of the skin tones three out of the four that I used in my cards. So this is the darker skin tone. I'm using E27 as my darkest, E57 as my mid-tone, and E23 as my lightest. Just going ahead and adding that darkest color underneath the bubbles in the little curl of hair, as well as to the side of the face and then underneath the chin. Now my E23 marker is so dry, you could see the color barely went down there when I first laid it down, but I was able to get it blended, which was thankful for the video because I'd already colored up all those other ones and wanted to show you the uh, right color combination that I used. So for this mid-tone, I would say it's kind of a medium skin tone color. I'm using E15, E13, and E11. For this one, I'm leaving the highlight to the top side of the head there, as well as the top of the back and the top of the leg. I think this was actually my favorite image to color out of them all. I just love how you see the variation from the darkest marker to the lightest with that little baby kind of sleeping on that cloud. So for my fair skin tone, I'm using E11, E00, and E000, and this gives a very pale uh, skin tone, but I do really like that color combination. For the darker skin tones, I'm using E04 for the cheeks, and then R20 for the lighter skin tones. For the darkest uh, skin tone, I'm using E49 for the hair, E18 on the medium skin tone, and then E53 on the lightest. So I used four different color combinations for this collection. The green, I'm using YG25, YG03, and YG01. Now my YG01 is completely dry as well. So I just brought in my Ohuhu marker there in GY7. That was the closest one I had. I'm running out of ink. It's been so hard to get ink refills as Copic has been changing those over to the new style. So with lots of coloring over quarantine, I am just running out of ink. So trying to do the best that I can with what I have. So for the darker blue, I'm using B26, B23, and B21. It gives a really nice, almost like a rich kind of royal blue color. I decided to color the bathtub, uh, the dark blue here, but I do color up the bathtub in various colors on some of the images and also just in a plain white as well. Had a lot of fun just coloring up these images watching TV. 
but I thought I would show you this one here uh, so you could see this color combination a bit better because the soother there was a bit tiny. So in addition to this color, I used the yellow that kind of flew by there. I used Y15, Y02, and Y00. And then finally, this kind of aqua teal color. I'm using BG49, BG13, and BG10. Now, if I had a BG11, again, that one is dry and I've been unable to get that um, reinker. I would have used the BG11, but the BG10 works as well. So for the bubbles, I'm just going to go ahead and use my blender marker as well and just kind of blend that out. So finally here, I'm going to do the cloud and the top of the diaper on the little baby there in the center. So for that, I'm using C3, C1, and C0. And then I will go ahead and blend that out with the colorless blender. So for the shadows with the cloud, I want to have the darkest C3 under the baby. I also added some to where those little V's peek in on the clouds because they would create a natural shadow. Then pulling that out with my C1 marker and then the C0. And again, blending that all out with the colorless blender. And you'll see that that will really push back once it dries. So for the beak, I'm using YR61. And then before going on to creating the cards, I'm just gonna add some black glaze pen to the eyes. And then we're gonna bring in my white jelly roll pen. This is the size 10. We're gonna add some detail to the little bunting bag here. I love this little baby in his little baby burrito. And also I'm going to add some highlights to the little baby in the tub. So on the right side of the bathtub and then on some of the bubbles. So let's move in to card number one. I'm using this scalloped rectangle frame here. This is from MFT. This is from their Blueprints um, 27 or 29. I always forget which number it is, but I don't think it's available anymore. I just, I need to get some uh, newer scalloped rectangles. This set only has the one and I find I use them quite a bit. So. I'm going to try to find a scalloped rectangle set to add to my stash. But I went ahead and added a panel with all the little clouds and rainbows on top of that yellow polka dot pattern. And now I'm just stamping out the sentiment or the word, I guess, congratulations. I'm using the curved banner die here from Heffy Doodle. And I'm just going to go ahead and score on those score lines. Now you can use this banner multiple ways. You can add some foam tape in between where the creases are for the banner tails. I'm going to go ahead and just adhere those down with my liquid glue so it is flat. Once I have glue on the inside panels as well, I can go ahead and add this to my card panel. So I'm going to tuck that behind the baby and I love the way that looks. I love all of the white on this card in addition to the blues and the yellow. Decided to pop the little baby on the cloud on some foam tape here. So I'm using 3M. This is older for me. I'm just trying to use it up. I do now recommend the Burtek foam tape which is really inexpensive and in my opinion it's better than the 3M. So I will link to that down below in case you're looking for an affordable alternative to a more expensive foam tape. And just to finish this off, I brought out my little Twiddler's Nook tray here and I have my stars and hearts in there and I'm going to add a yellow star and then a blue and green heart just around the little baby here to finish off this card. Moving on to card number two, I'm going to use a sketch here. And this is a sketch by MFT. This is the only sketch I'm actually going to use for the six cards today. I'm using the pattern paper with all the different little icons on it. It's really sweet. So I decided to put that on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this plaid uh, pattern to the top 
And I'm just gonna add my stamp block on there just to make sure that adheres well to my card panel. And then I can go ahead and create the focal panel for the card. So I'm using this white pattern paper with the colored polka dots all on it, and I've just backed that onto some teal cardstock. This is the Tealicious cardstock from Happy Doodle, and it is my favorite all-time color of cardstock. I also went ahead and cut out a scalloped border using my Lawn Fawn dies, just out of some of the blue pattern paper. I did pop that up on my scrapbook.com skinny adhesive strips, which I absolutely love. And I just decided to have that over top of that focal panel. So in the sketch, it's hard to tell. I think it's actually supposed to be underneath that panel with the scallops showing, but I wanted to kind of hide that seam. So I decided to have it over top. I'm gonna to stamp out the word congratulations here on that same teal cardstock using my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink for all the sentiments today. So I'm going to pop this up on some of that scrapbook.com skinny foam adhesive as well. And then figure out where I want to place this. So I played around with placement. I have it here leaning against that scallop border. I did also think about having it up higher like it is in the sketch underneath the little stuffies, but in the end I like how it's sat nice and snug onto that scallop border. So I'm using the really sweet elephant, panda, and bunny from the Nursery Friends stamp. And when I do the girl collection, I will show you the coloring for these images. Um, and then I'll refer back to this image for the baby. So I'll kind of do the reverse for the girl collection. But these were super fun to color up and they're just so adorable. So I'm trying to get these three images centered here. And I do not do a great job the first time around. So you are going to see that I am going to pull these up. And of course, I find the 3M foam tape is really sticky, which is good. But at the same time, I also like a little bit of wiggle room. You can see here with this bunny, it's really hard to get up. And I hadn't even at this point put a lot of pressure down on these images. So I was surprised that they had stuck that strongly at this point. But I'm just going to reinforce that with uh, some of my liquid adhesive there where I pulled up that tape just to ensure that it's good and sticky. I have these more centered and that's that card complete. I think that turned out really sweet. Card number three is super simple. I loved this little um, sleeping baby pattern paper in the little bunting bag. So I'm gonna use that as my focal paper and I'm going to adhere a little bit of that royal blue cardstock behind that panel and then on to some blue pattern paper from the paper pad, which is tone on tone in blue and just has a bunch of the icons. I'm using the, uh, I believe this little one is from the All Occasions stamp set, stamping that onto a fishtail banner, which is from the Heffy Doodle uh, tag, tag along, I think that that die set is called. There's multiple tag sizes and shapes in that die set, so I tend to use those often as well. I'm going to pop up the sentiment. I already popped up the oval, and that was just out of a piece of the polka dot pattern paper that I used in the last card. And then I'm just going to adhere the little baby down on that oval with my liquid adhesive. I felt like there was enough dimension having the foam tape on the back of the oval. I'm going to add three hearts here just to finish off this card as embellishments, and I'll add some Nouveau Glaze to the hearts. And that will complete card number three, I think. So moving on to card number four, I wanted to feature the little baby building blocks here that comes in one of the cut apart sheets for the pattern paper. 
and there's kind of this matching pattern paper so I use that for the back of my card panel here using my heavy doodle stitched rectangle uh, dies for the majority of the panels that I'm cutting out including the uh, polka dot one here I used that polka dot one quite a bit it was just a nice kind of neutral pattern paper that wasn't busy so it went with a lot of the other busier patterns. So I'm just going to add these blocks here to the bottom that spell out baby and then I went ahead and colored the little stork and baby that he's carrying which is really sweet and I'm going to have him standing on the second B so that darker blue one and I'm just going to adhere him with some liquid adhesive and then I stamped out the For You onto another banner here, just on some white cardstock. And I like that underneath the first block here. I just feel like it frames up this card really nicely, fills in a bit of that empty space underneath the first B there with the block. And then go ahead and finish that off with some Nouveau Glaze on the little Storks glasses and then the Soother. And again, I'm going to add some of the hearts and stars here just for some embellishments. So I'm going to use three hearts again, so one in blue, green, and yellow. And I think it just fills out that space nicely to the top left and then brings your eye down with that one yellow one there to the bottom right. So again, just adding some Nouveau Crystal Glaze onto that, and Crystal Glaze is very similar to Glossy Accents, so it just gives a nice embossed raised effect. So moving on to card number five, this is a super simple card design, but I felt like with the little train pattern paper, I really didn't need to do much. So I went ahead and used a stitch rectangle die for the train. And then using the gray and white gingham pattern here for this strip across the, I would say it's kind of like the bottom one third of roughly of the card. And I used my stitched scalloped die here from Lawn Fawn. So this one has a little bit smaller uh, of the scallops, which I really liked. So I cut that out of some teal cardstock again. And then using the little, I don't know what you call this, but the baby toys on the wheels. <laughs> you can tell I don't have kids. But anyways, I think in the baby boy stamp set, um, so there's one with the little babies for the girls and the boys. And then there's the nursery friends for uh, the girls, which is the one that I bought. And there's also one for the boys. And I think that one actually has a train in it, so it would have matched better. But I think the fact that they're kind of riding on what could be little train platforms, if that makes any sense, train cars, I think it works. So I think it's close enough that it's okay. And then I also used cute as a button for the sentiment, which is in that Nursery Friends stamp set, and that finishes off that card. For the final card, I'm creating a slimline card and I'm using the new slimline dies from Heffy Doodle. So this is a four piece, I believe. Yes, I'm trying to look at it, it's on my desk. So this has four different pieces, which is great and I used all four of them, I think. So I went ahead and cut out the back panel which measures three and a half by eight and a half and I cut that out of some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I wanted to play off the brown in the pattern paper as well as in the hair for the little babies that I'm going to be using and I'm using just some of the scrap pattern paper that I had left over. I used that kind of mid-size uh, dye for the darker blue and then the smallest of the set to create the top panel there. And then the fourth piece of the die cuts out those uh, squares in the center. So 
really love this set. I think it's perfect for creating sim slim lines. And how fun is this? It just kind of frames off those three different areas. So I added three of the little babies here. Because there was a duck with the one in the bathtub, I decided to use uh, the larger and middle-sized duck there for each of the other babies. And I think it just carries through that yellow nicely. And then to finish this one off, I'm going to add three yellow hearts as well. And I think that just plays off the ducks really nicely to have all of the hearts in yellow. Super fun pattern paper, so I can't wait to play with the girl collection. And if you want to use the coupon code N2S10, leave the coupon code down below and you can save 10% off your order. So we're slowing it down here. I'm showing you all six cards. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really always love working with Doodlebug. I'm so happy they have stamps now. It just makes me happy to color them and to create these cards. So I love the ephemera, but I love having the addition of the stamps. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you down in the comments and over on my social media. I'll link here to a couple more videos to keep you entertained until I'm back again. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye everybody.